Akuma's in the top three, man. His Akuma is putting in some work. Yeah. Coming up next, though, we have got True Alvin versus Ruperto. True Alvin, Katarina, Ruperto, we saw with regular Jin and Heiachi as well. Man, so it's going to be a great, great match here. Because these two characters, I feel like, are only played by these two people in this entire country. <laughs> this entire I, continent. Yeah, I haven't seen anyone else really play these characters How come here? no one's using Katarina down here in South America, right? They're all any what players. What country is she supposed to be? Uh, Portuguese. So okay. She speaks Portuguese, so she's Brazilian? Is that it? In Europe? No. Where's Portugal? Brazilians speak Portuguese. Man, I'm asking you what country she's from, not what language she speaks. I don't know. <laughs> you, you played story mode. I did it. <laughs> you let me know. <laughs> She's sad about her dad. That's all I know about story mode. And Gigas is involved. What? Yeah. Oh, gross. Spoilers. He's the dad. Is he? I don't know. Gross. Anyways. I don't think it's clear. <laughs> but we have the rest of our top eight fleshed out for loser side. We have Roy Nietzsche versus Mysterio. Mysterio. The other player who took out Spirogen. Yeah. And, and, side and Roy Nietzsche actually took out one of your favorites to win the tournament, Abel. He was the gin player. Who? <laughs> Abel lost to a gin player right now. Yeah, but losers. <gasps> Roy Nietzsche beat Abel. Welcome wow, I didn't realize that. Yes. I didn't realize that. And the other match will be Joey versus Right, because yes. Ruperto beat yes. uh, Abel first, and now Roy Nietzsche. Yeah, Abel so as well. Got Abel it. and, Bo and uh, El Negro both missing top eight. Just by one. Man, El Negro out as well. This is such a crazy top eight. Jim Kazama. And right now, Sapito, who's my other favorite to make like winner's final or grand finals, is in the loser side. Man, you, are, you better stop choosing these people. You're just a curse. I mean, let's see what Joey Fury's got against Dax. That's coming up later. Right now, we got Drew Allen versus Ruperto. Yes, sir. Catarina is probably what we're going to see here. Both these guys not from Canada. From Peru. Right? Well, neither right. of the names are right. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not those names. True Alvin versus Ruperto. Yeah, the second uh, winner's match in top eight. Yeah, True Alvin is the Katarina. And he's been getting away with a lot of standing 4-4-4, the string. I mean, it's hard to deal with. <laughs> you got a sidewalk right. Nice parry. Can you parry it then? If you're a Jin, oh, if maybe, you block yeah. the first one, just parry the second and third? Probably. I'm going to be a Jin player just for that. You tried. Yeah, oh, it's too man. hard. Ruperto going in right now. Hey. Ooh, down back four. Big damage there. I'm loving wow. Ruperto's play style with Jin too. Fight. Yeah, I really like his Heiachi. I like his Jin. I haven't seen his Heiachi though, so. Wow, nice Damn. draw. That was so fast. Ruperto. Ooh. Nice punish. Oh. Nice step. Man, Ruperto's playing on point. Eight. All right. What's your knowledge of these flags? We got Venezuela for Ruperto. I want to say Bolivia. I think you're right. For Al two Alvin? I think you're right. Definitely nice Bolivia. Step. Whoa, nice mm -hmm. step again. That's the, one of Jin's best moves is a forward four. In that range, though, you want to step right to avoid it. Okay. Dan can. Oh my gosh, that was so risky, but it doesn't. Not terrible for him, and he, now he gets a standing four. Counter hit. Nice. Go start down back two three to keep the Oki. Wavos. Forward four again. That's such a good move for Jin. So you have to use your movement to avoid blocking it. Man, he is catching up with it. But the big low from two Alvin. Yo, Roberto does something that Running Black does quite often too. Forward four hits to go into that stance and yep. then do one plus two. Yep. It's a very standard Jin strategy. And there it is. Standing four for four. Man, look at the parry. Yeah, very good. A four two. I like it. Oh, oh, got him. But drops the combo. Okay, opportunity now for Alvin. I like Alvin pumping Big the sweep. Alvin pumping the brakes on the up forward four. I like that. Oh, he could have got the the uh, the, uh, the grounded hit. Yeah, he could have got up back four there, but doesn't matter. He gets the round anyway. Final round, game Final one. Round. Music getting crazy. Fight. <laughs> Beautiful, Ricky. <laughs> oh, sidestep hop kick. He's got him. Moha. Oh, Moha indeed. Half life. Moha. 
he's got sweeps of his own. Got him. him! That was a crazy whip on his. He had that ready. Yeah, he sized him like, do anything. I got this, can't get, got him. Nice. Ruperto, first game. I don't know what it is about you in South America. As soon as you come down here, all of a sudden, all the R's turn into triple R's. Yeah, this is the Tekken Extreme Tournament 2017. All right, do, do, the, do the rest. Winners, semifinal. There you go, very that was good. <laughs> Tekken World Tour. OK, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Presented by Nissan Cup Noodles. <laughs> no character changes here. Surprising. Usually we feel like every time someone has lost in this tournament, they've always gone to Eddie. <laughs> or Akuma. Yeah. Neither of these guys, though, True Alvin, being a Katarina main. I mean, that was such a close game, right? Yeah, it was really close. Roberto, actually, you know, you did say he has an uh, Heachi, so maybe he'll switch to that if he happens to lose. Yeah, that's true. I mean, that, that was such a clutch can can he had. Yeah. Man, and he really, he's really uh, a parry happy shit, too. You normally don't see that very often. I think off that situation, though, off of Katarina's 444, it's okay. Yeah. It's okay to try it. I don't think, yeah, I definitely don't think it's bad, especially because right. even if the parry's uh, too late, mm -hmm. he's safe afterwards. That's so what no, I mean. No big deal. And Katarina, she has some high risk low that do good damage. Man, look at him making this comeback again. Yeah. Nice pressure here from Roberto. And throw up enough, he's throughout that 4 for 4 more. There's no sidewalks. He's going for the, the parries afterwards, but not before. Nice what a block. block. Oh my god, oh. the mix ups. Man, keeping the pressure on him with the down jab while standing forward, making sure that he can't press any button. Ooh. Big counter hit. And that's the thing, you know, he doesn't really pull out electric stuff when he's got his regular gym, but with Hiyashi, you can see he's a true Mishima player. Yeah, he's been doing a lot of electrics though this game. Nice block. Uh huh. Look at the defense. Oh man. Yeah, Alvin getting, getting his big block with no punish. Oh, he's got some stance mixed up. Nice. Yeah. Wall splat, wall splat. One plus two throw, no break, and that'll be the round. Wow, that was. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah, one plus two throw. Round Tons of damage three. in that one. Fight. One round apiece here. Game two. Ooh, Again. Damn. Yeah, those, those sweeps are adding up, man, and they're hitting. You know, Ruperto not really blocking them. Ooh, Counter the counter. Counter. Yeah. He's got to use it more. Moha. Oh. You're right, more electric this game for sure. Kick stuffed the attempt. Nice back dash out of that. Oh, counter hit. Terrible trade for Alvin. And now he's got his back to the wall. Even worse position, but big oh. counter hit. I feel like Roberto doesn't really use his uh, rage ever. Yeah, that's a good point. Actually, neither of these players have, <laughs> to be honest. I don't know if they, they just don't get the opportunity to, or they just don't feel like it's worth using. Yeah, they might not be using the rage yards, but Katarina's, of course, with uh, the rage drive, converts into huge damage. But has to hit a combo with rage first. Almost had that one. Wow, go sort of throw there. Yeah, I love the mix up, just, you know, you're not expecting it. Cherry stance mix up, catch him with 4 4 4. Great oh. there for Roberto. Yeah, now he Watch. has rage. What will we do with it? <gasps> oh, he tried, and the oh man, that was such a good setup by Alvin. I feel like he did the first part of the hot kick. Like, don't you want to try something big to punish? Can can, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Roberto was just a little bit late. Maybe he maybe he might have uh, stuttered just a little bit because uh, he saw it was up forward four, not mm -hmm. up forward four four. Exactly, exactly. So I now we're tied up one to one. And I think we're going to your favorite character. It's character switch time. I mean, his Hayachi is sick, but you know, maybe he's got a Kazoo or something. Welcome too. to the King of Iron Fist Tournament 7. Nope. He's definitely got a Hayachi. Went straight to it. Yeah, he's much more aggressive, at least from what I've seen with his Hayachi before today. Get ready for the next battle. It seemed like there was no hesitation there either. It was mm -hmm. just like, all right, I lost. Go to Hayachi. So I feel like a lot of players here have done that. Yeah. Like, they lose the game, like, all right, trying to bring out the other character. It's just part of their tournament mentality, strategy. Like, he knows how to handle that character. Let me let me try the other one. So we got Roberto. With Heiachi. A very, kind of, you know, Heiachi's not really utilized in tournament yeah. outside of, like, JDCR whenever he feels like playing him. Yeah, Roberto's pretty good, though. Let's see what he's got. A lot of down forward one pressure. Now the down forward one returned by True Alvin, but doesn't convert the full oh. big electrics. All right, if I'm true, Alvin, put him on one P. Test this, <laughs> <laughs> test this one P electric real quick. 
Ashish. Ashish. Oh, nice delays, but doesn't get him anything. Oh, oh my god. Will he spend the rage drive? No, he doesn't. Wow, and he got that. He didn't go for the up back four. Yeah, very odd. Round two. First round, Ruperto's Heiachi. Careful. Oh, yeah, the classic. I feel like no one's gotten hit by that today. And I, I feel like Roberto was finally like, man, no one, he's not going to do it this time. Oh, it hasn't worked boy. all day. Ooh, big Another one. You know yep. it. Of course. Classic. These are full crouch. You can do it again. Nice punish there. Yeah, Alvin not afraid to throw out those sweeps. Whoa, uh -huh. four, four. Such Got a crouch great girl. Ooh. Beautiful size to flash punch combo. Perfect set point, Ruperto. Round four. Round of applause from the crowd. Look at that. Yeah. Oh Ooh. my God. I love electrics. I'm telling you, man. His his is really fun to watch. Come on, Alvin. Put him on one P. <laughs> Gotta test him out. You can't go. You can't lose without knowing whether or not he can do a one P electric. Oh my God. Float to the wall. Yeah. Oh, oh. kick. Beautiful. Alvin not out of it. Moha. Will he do another one? Any Mohas left? Raw Moha, do it. Oh man, standing one. Oh, big sweep. Oh, here he stands. Oh, big block. Is that dead? No, oh. he's got a pixel. Hop kick. Don't, don't, don't. Oh my oh. god, that was so nerve wracking, but Ruperto gonna <laughs> take it. Two to one. Wait, you said hop kick, and I was thinking to myself, he's gonna hop kick. That's why I kept saying, no, 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 no. <laughs> Oh man, well played, Ruperto. Staying on the winner's side, that means he's gonna be in the winner final versus Crespo's Akuma. Ooh, that's so those Ruperto, are well done. Interesting matches. Yeah, so Ruperto's got two mission buzz and he's gonna go. Oh, he's got regular Jin or Hayashi against Akuma. Yeah. Street fight across Tekken. We'll see how winner final. How well he does in that matchup, but we'll find out about that match later. Right now, we gotta go through the losers' top eight, mm -hmm. and I think right now we're.